Hey guys, we're back with another reaction video. Yes, I know it's been a long time since I've done a reaction. I've just been working a lot and haven't had time to really do both reactions and Brahala content. And more of my viewers are Brahala related, which is why I've been focused more on the Brahala stuff and getting that out while I, when I with what little time I did have. But, now I've got time to record some more reaction stuff. Um, I'm going to probably over the next couple weeks uh, get the rest of Season 8 of MLP up. And I've got a couple different uh, fan-made content things I want to react to also. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm back, you know doing some more reactions so yeah let's uh get right into uh this this is uh episode 21 of season 8 of MLP um what was the title uh rock hoof in a hard place um don't really know what it's about but uh you know <laughs> I'm interested to see where this goes. Obviously, it's going to have Rock Hoof in it. Um, I heard the last, like, four or five episodes of Season 8 were, like, really good. Which is cool, because, like, the, big, the first 20 episodes, there were a couple decent ones. There was probably two or three that were pretty good. But it, a lot of people were saying it was pretty lackluster. But, uh, yeah, I heard a lot of good stuff about the uh, the end of the season. So, yeah, I can't wait to get into it. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and start this. Faster than that, if you plan to dig up my whole village, lass. <laughs> Let me help. <laughs> uh, thank you, Rockhoof. But we're trying to carefully preserve every bit of history here. I. This place is full of memories. Did I tell you about the time our chieftain knocked down five boulders with the kick of a wave ball? <laughs> no! Stop that! But uh, that's what this is for. Maybe in the past. Now it belongs in a museum. Safe, preserved, untouched. Ah, next you'll be saying I shouldn't have used the old sweat lodge. <laughs> so, you see why Rockoof isn't an ideal fit for my team. Perhaps you could use his uh, unusual talents? Of course, Professor Fossil. We'd be honored Professor to have Fossil, that's her name. Huh. Oh, thanks, Celestia. <laughs> oh, that apple's made of wood. What a horrible trick to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Has any pony seen my decorative centerpieces? They were right here. <laughs> Good luck. Poor rarity. <laughs> my little pony. My little pony. Ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you answered its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes Can't wait to see what Twilight's gonna do with him. So join me in welcoming Professor Raku. Professor Raku, huh? Oh boy. Thank you, thank you all. I know I'm new to your world, but there's one thing I learned when I saved my village from a rushing river of hot lava. There's nothing you can't do with hard work. And the shovel! 
<laughs> and he broke the stage, of course. That made me stand on stage. <laughs> Creature dismissed. We'll see you in class. You think that new pony is gonna be the weirdest teacher at school? Or just one of the weirdest? Yona like new teacher. He big. Like of course yak. Yona likes him. He smashes things like a yak. Smells like a yak. Yes! <laughs> he's perfect! Oh. Guys, he's one of the pillars. He's like pony history. Hello, class! <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> I'm uh, your new theory and defense of friendship teacher. But uh, I haven't had a chance to look at Headmare Twilight's notes yet. What have you all been learning? We just studied all about how Princess Celestia and Luna used a spell to trap Discord in Stone Sleep for hundreds of moons. Oh, so it's a class about stories, is it? Stories, yeah. And we never, ever, ever get homework. Good. The best <laughs> wow. way to teach colts and fillies is by experience. Like the time I was in the woods and ran across an Ursa Major. Really? <laughs> We're not doing that, right? You fight Ursa Major? All alone? Aye, and I defeated her, too. Now this I'm interested in. <laughs> How Professor Rock could win. I mean, he does have some good stories. That's quite a tale. From what Professor Fossil said, it sounds like Rockhoof just hasn't settled into modern times yet. Our school is the perfect place for that. Really? Plus, we get a new teacher. <laughs> this may be the fastest friendship problem you ever solved. I doubt it. <laughs> Dodge! Thrust! Shovel leap! Shovel throw! Shovel whack! Now you lot be the Ursa Major. Lots of growl in mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Maybe classrooms were less breakable in the old days? <laughs> oh, oh, what happened next? <laughs> the huge beastie jumped out of the moonlit mist. Her fearsome fangs at my throat. <laughs> but I rolled clear. Then what? She backed me up against the wall. Ready to pounce! I looked at her, she looked at me, and I say... Uh, Professor Rockoff? Nope, guess again! <clears throat> uh, oops. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Class, why don't we go ahead and take lunch early today? Rockoff, can we take a walk outside? <sighs> Our school is about finding your own special way to teach. And we can already tell you're a smash with the class. <laughs> but maybe you could do a little less smashing in the classroom. Sorry about that. I did get a bit carried away. The students were so interested in my tail. I know it's a big change, but I think you're going to fit in just... What the hell? Fire! What? What does he have PTSD? <laughs> Everything. Rock Hoof? What are you doing? Save it the school. Just like fighting a volcano in the good old days. Would some pony kindly explain what is the meaning of all this water? Poor rarity. Sure. But I think it's not that <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, rarity, but I had to put out the rage in Inferno. Inferno? Where? Did you not see the smoke and flame? Yeah, that was us. You know, dragons, having a fire-breathing competition. You? What? They do it all the time. That's what we were trying to tell you. We know you're used to being a hero, Rock Hoof. Only, what we need here is a teacher. One who doesn't ruin an entire class's friendship quilts. I don't know how hard it is to stitch a pineapple pattern. Hmm. I have no idea. My deepest apologies. I'm not used to living with dragons, or much else in this modern time. 
Professor Fossil made it clear I'm not welcome back in my old village. Seems I don't belong here either. So, apparently finding Rock of a new job is a lot harder than we thought. Has any pony had any luck? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You were gonna try him out of the post office. We did. <laughs> what happened? Do you know where I can find Cranky Doodle Donkey? I need to deliver his medicine. He has a rash in a very embarrassing place. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Just let me know if this is oh, too God. much pressure. <laughs> oh my God! Well, at least Rock Hoof's really strong. Maybe we could find him a job carrying heavy stuff. I tried that already. Sakura needed somebody to help her get supplies, but yeah. I know you said you only needed a few leaves, but I figured why not bring you the whole thing. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, how horrid. None of the other pillars seem to be having trouble fitting into the modern world. Then maybe they can show Rock Hoof how they did it. Get him used to living in this town. Great idea. Rock Hoof's old friends would be happy to help, and I bet he'd love to visit them. <sighs> Even Canterlot looks different from the old days. Oh. I'm sure once you see your old pal Flash Magnus, you'll feel right at home. Trot two, three, four, trot two, three, four. Keep it lively, rookies. Visitors on site. Company halt. <laughs> yeah, he fits right in. Rock up, you old ditch digger, you. Flash Magnus, as I live and breathe. Is this your squadron? After we got out of limbo, I went looking for work for a pony with experience in the Royal Legion. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Princess Celestia was happy to find a new drill sergeant for her guard. Yeah, that's great. She really put you in a job that big so soon. <laughs> oh, this is nothing. You should see what Miss Mane is up to. They made you the royal landscape artist for the Crystal Empire? Wow, your work nice. is beautiful. No, oh, thank you. I've never worked with Crystal before, but in my heart, I know I'm where I belong. You always yeah, this is not helping Rocco at all. There's not much demand for shovel ponies like me nowadays. Don't give up hope. See Somnambula. She'll help you find your purpose. Somnambula is a motivational speaker. A motivational they didn't even speaker. Have those back in your time. Because we didn't need them. <laughs> Ponies knew what to do with their lives. Focus on my voice and feel yourself unlock your potential. <sighs> yeah, I don't think that's a job for him either. <laughs> Imagine everything that troubles you as one big cloud. <laughs> now. Let it float away. You are relaxed. Free to do anything you wish. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I guess he wished he could take a nap. <laughs> uh. Mage Meadowbrook, your home looks just the same as the old days. Wish I could say the same for mine. Well... I've had to expand my clinic a bit. Many creatures need healing in this modern world. Oh, looks like you could use some too. What's got you heartsick, Rockhoof? Thing is, I can't do my old job like Flash, or adapt like Miss Mane, or succeed at something new like Somnabula, or go home like you. Give it time. Even Star Swirl's still learning about friendship. Yeah. And I bet Stygian took plenty of time to fit in. Hey, 
look what I found. Speaking of which, I wonder what Stygian is up to. The third hit novel by former villain Stygian. Wow, he's a writer. <laughs> wow, that's kind of awesome. Where are you going? I'm not sure. Maybe I just don't belong in this modern world. Now this here's a right mash of apples. Instead of solving Rock Hoof's problem, we made him feel even worse. I'll tell you the real problem here. We haven't given Rock Hoof the chance to be who he really is. A pony with a metal shovel and a heart of gold? A hero! What we need to do is find him a job that's as epic as he is. Hmm. I might know just the thing. I'm honored to serve in the Hippogriff Navy, General Seaspray. Oh, this isn't going to go good. He's going to break the boat. Think nothing of it. I know how hard it is to adapt to a new home. After our many years below the waves, land customs seemed strange. Like you didn't fit in, no matter how hard you tried? Rizzo the world had moved on without us. Never fear, Rockoff. We shall be as brothers in this bright future above. Also, that outfit <laughs> is fun. Why do I don't even know. Ships, if they can turn into sea ponies, maybe they just like cruises. General, the fog's too thick to see our way out of the harbor. Heave to Swabies, hold the ship and hold her till the fog passes. Wait, General. Can navigate the same way my cultic ancestors traveled through the silky mists. We'll look to the stars. There in the northwest sky is the constellation Brobridal's Belt. Steer the ship toward that. You heard the pony crew make full sail. Yeah! Rob Hook did it. Uh, I saw that coming. No, stars can move slowly over time. They must look different now than over a thousand years ago. Uh, of course. Serving with you, Rockoff. But it seems our paths lie in different directions. Hey, mistakes happen. We'll think of something else for you to do. Oh, there's no need, lass. You already know what I want to do next. Really? What? I heard there's a statue spell that sends creatures into stone sleep. I want you to cast it on me. <gasps> well, that's a uh, uh, that's a bit no. of a yes. problem. No. I. <laughs> hey guys, you need me to help you decide something? Rockhoof wants me to cast a spell to turn him into a statue. The answer is no. Well, it should be I, because I wouldn't even be here to be turned into a statue if Twilight hadn't cast a spell in the first place. Whoa, I thought you were arguing over ice cream flavors. <laughs> the answer is still no. Why would you want to be turned into stone? Because I'm a relic of a bygone age. I belong in a museum, safe, reserved, untouched. I don't belong in this time. It's up to you to make that right. But there has to be a better way. Twilight, please understand. I want to be remembered as the hero I was, not the disappointment I've become. But you're not. Rock of Weight! Spike, can you teach my class today? Uh, you're not really gonna turn into stone, are you? Only because it's temporary. As soon as I think of a new solution, we'll wake Rock Hoof up. Really? I know he has more to offer the world as a pony than a statue. Did you hear that Rockhoof caught all the bees in the Everfree Forest and gave him his core as a gift? Well, Tara Mar said Rockhoof called down the stars and sunk the whole hippogriff navy. He's definitely weird, but in a fun way. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen next with him. Professor Rockhoof, best pony. Hey, class. Welcome to the theory and defense of friendship. Another sub. Let me start by telling you that we don't get homework and we only do field trips. Yeah, nice try. Uh, Twilight <laughs> sent me to tell you she won't be in today because she has to cast a stone sleep spell on Rockhoof. <gasps> My Discord? But why? Rockhoof isn't a bad guy. Hmm. 
instructions really are to write an essay on heroism and what it means to you. No. Oh, uh, don't worry. It doesn't have to be a long essay. Maybe like this? Or on three legs? Hmm. What will give the wee birds fewer places to, uh, decorate? Professor Rockoff, dragons that you want to turn into stone. You do not believe it. I am afraid... Should go live with the ex. You'd fit right in. Call me need finish Ursa major story for class. Well, it's sweet of you to try to get me to stay, Yona. But I'm afraid old stories like mine aren't worth anything in this day and age. Fine! Pony no want tell Yona story, then Yona tell Pony story. From class report, when Yona come to Pony school, Yona not fit in. Pony way strange, but Yona find friends. Yona meet Professor Rockoff. Pony brave and strong as Yak, not afraid, hero. When Yona grow up, Yona want to be just like Professor Rockoff. Well, uh, since you went to the trouble of writing something that nice, I suppose the least I could do is tell you the rest of the story. You wanna tell Wolf Fool Rock of his best? Now I wanna hear a story! <laughs> okay, uh... I have the spell, but will you please reconsider? Rock of? The Earth of Major tried to grab me by the gullet by Dr. Claus. <laughs> she had me cornered. So I look at her, she looks at me. And I say, sorry you won't be having any dinner tonight, lass. Guess you'll just have to grin and bear it. <laughs> and then I tossed her away with my shovel high into the sky. And she's been a constellation up there ever since. Or so I'm told. And that's the end of my story. One more story! One more story! <laughs> no, no, thank you for listening, but it's time to say goodbye. Wait, you said there wasn't anything in this time you were good at. What about telling stories? It was just a tall tale. One that captured the hearts and imagination of every creature here. Plus, only stories! Super fun! As the Princess of Friendship, I'd like to appoint you as Equestria's official Keeper of Tales. Can you do that? <laughs> I, uh, that's very kind of you, but I still think these old bones are more suited to a museum display. You are a living record of our history. Your stories can inspire and teach generations to come. If you're a statue, that's all lost. But will I ever really belong in your world? Rockoff Yona's friend, so Rockoff belong. You know, that reminds me of another story. Once there was a small <laughs> yak that knew more than a great hero. Hey, don't forget the dragons in this one. I there were dragons <laughs> and ponies. And plenty of hippogriffs, plus a changeling and a griffin. <laughs> oh, that's nice that it worked out. Yeah, I, that was that was a cute episode. I I love uh, how uh, Yona is the one that helps him find what he really was good at. And, uh, but, yeah, the similarities were, you know, she didn't feel like she fit in at first either, but, you know, she wound up finding friends and finding her place, and now Rockhoof has, you know, his place, and he can just tell stories. So, you know, definitely, definitely good. Uh, and, you know, all of the, uh, all of the pillars found their own thing to do in the modern times, which is cool. Seeing uh, Flash Magnus, you know, being a drill sergeant in the Royal Guard, you know, that's awesome. Seeing uh, Stygian as a, a writer, that's, that's kind of awesome. 
uh, yeah, they all kind of found their place, and Rocco found his now. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, my reaction for this episode, guys. Um, I'll be reacting to the rest of the season very soon. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.